Hi, my name is John Thornton, and I love making short movies about artists, or in this case, facilitating a worthy band of artists in telling their own story. Enjoy! Art Sisters is an assemblage of women artists who are diverse in their skills, experiences, and ideas. We have curated many group exhibits throughout the greater Philadelphia area with a variety of mediums and artistic expressions. In addition to our mission of supporting one another, we also strive for artistic excellence, seek collaborations with others, and raise funds for the greater good. Each of us individually has a beautiful and unique story to tell through our art. Together, we offer visual art that is inspired by our imaginations, our environment, and the world at large. Barbara Dernbach, sitting for her portrait. Barbara says, my portrait is acrylic on canvas and paper, my primary medium. I try to convey an underlying emotion that will captivate and intrigue the viewer. Blanche Levitt Torfey, Queen Village at Sunset. Blanche says, my landscape paintings are inspired by the universal energy in nature and the play of color and light off various architectural elements within the environment. Soft pastel is one of my favorite mediums to convey the landscape due to the richness of the pigment and the velvety texture of the pastel sticks. Cindy Philkill in his mind's eye. Cindy loves to tell people's stories through her mixed media collage portraits. She utilizes vintage papers, hand printed tissue paper, old letters, found objects and other ephemera to create her collages. Edna Santiago, Metamorphic Dreams. Edna says, life starts with enormous possibilities and paths to take. We choose our colors and move forward in life. Celebrate. Ellen Abraham, Melting. This tanned woman is happily sunning herself while drips of acrylic ice cream fall into her lap. Florence Wise, Tree Stripes, Sunrise. Florence says, I created these collages in celebration of trees. With stripes of acrylic paint, I extend the branches of trees I see from my art studio. Beneath the surface of transparent mylar, I arrange my alcohol ink papers to reflect the colors and textures of the centered photo. Francis Beattie, Untethered. Francis says, Untethered is an organic sculpture depicting the human condition. Kathleen Spicer, Full Bloom. Kathleen says, I build wall hung wood sculptures and relief paintings and finish them with oil paint applied in thin layers. Negative space is very important and reinforces the connection and interaction of the shapes. I am inspired by nature and like to combine botanical and mechanical references together. Laurie Murray, Perseverance. Laurie says, Perseverance is part of a new series combining acrylic, plaster of Paris, and textural media to marry my love of painting and 3D. Linda Dubin Garfield, Nature's Narrative 5. Linda says, since there is no new travel, 
I am left with remembered images and my imagination. I create art that is a mixture of what I have seen with my eyes and the truth of what I feel with my heart. Lenny Greenberg Unexpected Visitor Collage Art Louise Herring, Spring Blush. Louise says, Color is the motivating voice for my art. Color nourishes the soul. Hans Hoffman. Marcy Ziskind, Assemblage of Three Little Village Pots. Marcy says, I use animal fiber to create my own felt, which is made into sculptures, garments, jewelry, wall hangings, and functional items. This assemblage evokes ideas of romantic, old, charming towns full of cultural icons and historic buildings. I love the colors and shapes of these vessels. Margie Lewis Quint, Fleur de Paris. Margie says, Fleur de Paris, though based on an actual mannequin I saw in a store window, is meant to be both ambiguous and psychological. This oil painting uses color, line, and shape as a surrealistic design template and is very much informed by my background as a graphic designer. Nancy Freeman Tabus. Three Birds. Nancy says Three Birds was inspired by the Northern California coast. So beautiful, even the native birds were resting to take in the scene. Priscilla Bolin, London Blitz. Priscilla says, in this painting, these children are about to board a ship to the U.S. during the bombing of London during World War II. My mother used to speak of this horror, children sent away without their parents. When it was safe to return, were the parents alive or had the children been orphaned? Sally Eisenberg, X and O. Sally says, my paintings evolve. They start out one way and then through gestures and layering end up going in a completely new direction. I love the freedom of painting in the abstract. Sandy Neiman Lovitz, Gems of Exhilaration. Sandy says, when I paint my color filled abstractions, I am on vacation. My mind is still, and the outside noises don't interrupt the freedom to just be me. It spreads the happy and reminds everyone not to postpone the joy. That is what I try to do one day at a time. Sandra Benheim, In Search of the Fountain of Youth. Sandra says, I'm a visual artist who is fascinated with color, inviting viewers via my paintings to places they haven't been. My abstract paintings, collages, and works on paper frequently take inspiration from landscape and the surroundings. Sue Stefanski, growing. Sue says, this is one of my family members, my granddaughter, Kira who are my groundbreaking women. Virginia Conover, time to move on. Virginia says, I am quite sure it refers to my reaching a point in my life, needing to make serious decisions about the time I may have left. I don't view it as depressing, but full of colorful opportunities.
Deb Simon, Soul Singer. Deb says, Soul Singer was inspired by my travels to many music venues and listening to jam sessions of my husband and his guitar buddies. Marcy, Sally, and Cindy, thank you very much. Catch the upcoming Art Sisters exhibition in September at the Chester County Arts Association.